Today we're going to talk about a soft brick phone versus a hard brick phone. Alright, in front of us we have the Samsung Galaxy S2 HD. It's hard bricked. We have a battery already inserted. Can take the battery out. Okay, removing the battery. This battery is already charged. Okay. So, you want to know what's the difference between a soft, soft brick phone and a hard brick. Alright. When a phone is soft bricked, what happens is you have issues with software and it can normally be resolved by going through various methods that you can always Google and find out. That's how you'll probably fix it. But things get very serious when we're dealing with something like a hard brick phone. Why it's called hard brick is due to the fact that the phone is not able to be revived and you'll probably have to do something like JTAG or you in a, using a USB jig. In this case the USB jig did not work. Then I tried JTAG in it, did not work. So basically that's a dead phone. Alright, next situation. What causes the phone to be hard bricked? Normally you can either try to flash a custom ROM to your phone and you when you really mess up and you plug out of Odin do not plug out of Odin <laughs> you see that warning sign that comes up that says don't plug out of Odin please don't pull out of Odin anyways to show you how you know your phone's hard bricked we'll insert the battery again okay we're going to go as far as plugging in hold on okay I pause for a second just to plug it in so it's now plugged in pressing the power button nothing this phone is definitely hard bricked plugged in no sign of life roughly it's like a brick what to do to avoid this situation don't plug out of Odin be careful when flashing um, custom ROMs and that should keep it okay until later this has been tech solutions shopper solutions